Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Elasticsearch. In today's tutorial, we are going to see some of the interesting things about the Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Postman. First, we will see how to check the status of Kibana and the Elasticsearch. Then we are going to also explore some of the commands by using which we are going to execute those commands against the Lucene engine, which is the underlying engine of the Elasticsearch and we'll get the information related to the Elasticsearch. Then we are going to see how to set up the Postman tool for using the Elasticsearch commands. So let's start. First, let's check the what is the status of Kibana. In order to check the status of Kibana, you can go to the Kibana server log and check the status there. Or the other option is you can go to this browser, use the URL like host name and the port. In our case, it's a local host and the port is 5601. And after that, provide the command as a status. So this will take us to the status of Kibana. We have seen this screen in our earlier lecture as well, but this will give you the detailed idea about the how much uh, size it is getting used and what is the current status. The current status of Kibana is green. Now, in order to check the details about Elasticsearch or what is the status of the Elasticsearch, what is the status of cluster, we have to use the development tool which is present under the Kibana. In order to get the development tool, you can click on this three dash icon, scroll down, and here we see the dev tools click on that it will take us to the development tool using which we can do so many things related to the elastic search first we'll just see the status of cluster or the status of elastic search for that there are several apis present which runs based on several http methods for example the http methods are get post put head, trace, etc. So out of this HTTP method, the very first method we will we are going to use and that is nothing but the get. The interesting thing about this dev tool is we don't have to type the full command. Even if you just start the command line, it will give the suggestion. For example, if I just put the forward slash, it gives me the what are the options available up to this forward slash. In case you want to check the status, there is a command or there is an API which is provided by Elasticsearch and the name of API is cat and using cat we can retrieve various things such as allies, number, count or indices or health etc. This cat command is useful if you are executing or checking some of the things on your console that is nothing but this development tool or you are using these commands on as a Unix or Linux level commands. However, if you want to check the health or any other things, we need to use the JSON APIs, which are, uh, which are the another set of things by using which you can return the information. As we are using the console, let's go ahead and use this cat API. After the cat API, we are going to check the health of the Elasticsearch. So we have to provide health. So if you, if you see here, I'm just typing few things and it is giving me suggestion. Either you can select this suggestion or you can complete the auto type. So this is a command which is has the method get and then cat is the API and health is a, it's a corresponding a variable or another subcomponent. Once we are done with the command, there is a triangular icon. This icon is used to execute the command. So when you click the command, we'll get the response on the right hand side. So what this response tells, so there are several attributes are showing, but we are not sure what these attributes. So let's understand these attributes in detail. In order to show a in bigger picture, I have divided these multiple attributes in the two tables. The very first attribute is epoch which is nothing but the numeric representation of time, then the timestamp where the, at the time the execution, 
of the command then the cluster if you remember this is the cluster name we gave at the time of installation that is Elasticsearch even it is a default name then the status it gives the whether it's a green yellow or red as a status then the number of nodes number of node data the number of shards present also the primary or relocation initial unassigned pending task maximum task waiting time active shards percentage so these are the attributes are getting shown as a status this is elastic search cluster and the status is green and this information is shown in our console so this is epic and the timestamp and other details as the status is green so that means we can use this elastic search for our operations the next command is nothing but the checking the health of our cluster for that you have to just select your end of the command and hit the enter button and then use the gate and in order to check the status of cluster you have to use cluster command and after that use the help let's go ahead and execute in order to execute there is a shortcut also you can use the if you are using windows system then use the control make sure you are selecting this line and use the control enter so this will give us the detailed status of the cluster here we can see the cluster name the status is green with the timeout is false number of nodes is one number of data nodes is equal to one active primary shards are six and number of in flight fetch are zero and the other attributes which one of the important attribute is active shards percentage as a number is 100% so this is the same information which we got in our first command but here we get in detail with the labels now let's see the cluster settings and for that the command is get of course we need to use a cluster again and the option is settings we'll use the again run command so if you do not select uh, the particular line you'll get the message like for example if i select this the next line line number four and if i click execute it is giving me message no request selected so make sure your cursor is on your the line where you, you would like to execute and this is giving me the details like persistent and transit and transit these attributes are empty now there is another command which is again settings but it's a, at the root level now here we can see this each of the indices setting or each each of the components such as the custom link kabana events all these indices settings are shown as a part of the setting so we'll see how how this indices names are getting created in our um, next section but this is the details which we can fetch by using settings option now you might be thinking how, whether this information maintained on the elastic search or this is getting fetched from the lucene engine itself that's a very interesting question so i will address this question after our next command and that is nothing but the getting the details of the all the indices so for that we have to run the get command again and of course we'll use a cat in this case and indices so this is very commonly used command you need to know how to get the details of the indices uh, so it's a very simple underscore cat indices and click arrow button so this will give us details what are these details so let's have a look in that so these details are nothing but what is the health of your indices it gives a green or red or yellow then whether the given indice or given index is a open or it's closed then the actual index so here we can create customer index or product index etc but by default elastic search and the elastic stack itself creates some default indices so and this is one of the that index then it also has a unique id which is auto generated then the primary 
how many primary nodes, how many replicas are there, how many documents are stored in that index, or how many documents are deleted. What is the size? Because this size is very important attribute because when you run the indexing job, the one of the thing you need to check is whether the size is getting increased or not. So this is one of the important attribute in the primary stored size. So this is additional information. So this is the information is getting displayed. So far we have seen there are five default indices, one for Kabana event, other is APM custom link, then Kabana task manager and so on. This, this is the name of the index and this is unique ID. Then we have the primary replicas and other attribute and this is important column I was referring about the size of that index. Now, to address our earlier question whether this information is coming from Elasticsearch or the listening engine and the answer is this information is, is getting fetched from the listening engine which is the underlying engine of the Elasticsearch. So we, it is important to know what are the things getting stored on Elasticsearch, what are the things getting stored on Lucene or on the Kabana thing. So this is one of the things which comes from the Lucene. Now, we got the details. We know how to check the status of Kabana, how to check the startup cluster, how to, how to get the details of the indices. Now, how can we execute all these commands using Postman? If you see here, there is no way to store these commands. Once you re, when you refresh this development tool, all the commands disappears. But the Postman tool is interesting tool where you can store your all the commands and you can achieve much more things. The reason uh, using the Postman is one of the reason is we can store this command for future use, and also it we can automate the several things in the Postman. Hence, we are going to see how we are going to execute all these commands in the Postman. Before going to see that, we need to know what is the equivalent command for each of these. The equivalent commands for each of these, so for get cat health, the equivalent command is this is the curl command. You can execute on your uh, Linux box or Unix box where curl is installed. And the command is curl hyphen x get. Then the URL that is HTTP localhost 9200 that is elastic server. Then cat and health. These are the commands which are coming from our regular development tool. And there are equivalent commands already present. Don't worry about all these commands. I'm going to put all this curl command on my website, which is the Drona Techno World. I will share that link in my video below as well. Uh, so you can directly uh, access those commands. You don't have to worry about noting this down. So these are the commands which we are going to use in a, our Postman tool. We have already installed Postman tool, which will look like this. You can create your own collection. It's very simple. Click on the new collection. I have created already one that is Elastic Search. And in this empty collection, we can add the request. But before adding the request, what I have done is I have set one environment. I have named as a development environment. And under this development environment, I have created one variable that is ES URL. And it is nothing but the server name. So that's the pretty much I have done so far. So let's go ahead and create our first request. In order to create the very first request, you have to click on the add request button. And here we need to provide the name of the request. So I'll mention elastic search and I'll mention as a status. So the additional information here I will give as the command. It is good idea to give the additional details like the what command we are going to fire here. and just click save to Elasticsearch. So now the request is created, just double click on that, but the URL is empty. As we know, the curl command is this, so we can ignore the first three part because the X gate, which is corresponding to curl command is equal to the gate method in this postman. Now we have to translate these words in our command. As we know, the URL is localhost 9200, so how can we get that variable? It's very simple. Use the two open curly brackets and start typing. As soon as you start typing, the variables will be listed here. Even if you can 
hover over and see the values on the right hand side it's local host 9200 select it and then we have to provide the rest of the command that is cat forward slash health and that's it so once this ca command is ready we have to click on the send button if the request is correct then it will give us the response so let's go ahead and click the send button and now we can see the response of course you can change as per your need if you want to see in the html format click on the preview and it will give us the kind of html format if you want in the raw format you can click on the raw so let's go ahead and create another request for the indices and the request will look like this i'll just copy paste this part the remaining part what i'll do i'll just right click on this or there is a three dot you can create a duplicate one and the name this to the request as a gate indices if you want the curl command to be noted just copy this curl command which i'll be providing on the website and instead of here you just test it this command save it and here we are going to use forward slash es url forward slash then underscore cat and indices let's go ahead and execute it and we can see the details about the response so this way you can create as many requests as you want and you can save by using Control s if you are using windows system to save this request we saw how to check the status of Kibana and the Elasticsearch cluster. We also saw what how to get the details about the indices. And finally, we set up our Postman and executed few of the command and we saved those for our future usage. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions or queries about Elasticsearch, you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.